one big question that I get all the time is which braids should I get? Which one will decrease my chances of breakage? I always say the bigger the better. That because when the hair is clumped together, it's strength in numbers. My hair is less likely to snag, less likely to split, it will hold moisture better, and um, there won't be as much tension on the scalp area because there's so much hair in that braid. Another question I get, before I put my braids in, I do not, I repeat, I do not wash my hair first. Washing your hair strips your hair of all the minerals, the nutrients, all that. And then to take your freshly stripped hair and put that with synthetic hair is a recipe for disaster. What I do is if I know I'm going to put braids in on, on Wednesday, on Monday I will over moisturize my hair, on Tuesday I will over moisturize my hair, and then on top of dirty hair so to speak, I'll put my braids in. What that does is when the synthetic hair um, fuses with my, my natural hair and sucks moisture out as it, as it will, my hair still won't be too dry. Another big question I get is what hair do you use Lady Key? I use 100% Konekalon hair. Before I put this style in, I had actually purchased three packs of Marley braid and I tried to use it, but that hair was so dry. I mean, I can, I can just feel it just sucking the moisture out of my hair shaft and I, I don't play that when it comes to moisturizing my hair. So um, I actually took the hair back and I got what I usually get, which is a connect along hair. Um, a question that usually follows that is, well, what do you do with the frizz? Because connect along hair is straight and natural hair is not. Personally, I don't really care about frizz that much. I mean, I don't know if you can really get a close-up of my hair the way that it is right now. But this is about as frizzy as it gets. Um, even though I shampoo, co-wash, hot oil treat, baggy method, all of that to my hair, it doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, because I wrap it at night and I pretty much keep it laid down with me wrapping it with the little stocking cap, I don't really have too many issues with frizz, so I can't really give too much advice in that general area. Okay, so let's talk about how long you keep the braids in. It took me about three days to put these in. I don't care. This style will not be in my hair longer than a month and a half. And a month and a half is pushing it. I have 4B coarse hair. My hair is very prone to being dry. It must, have a, it must be deep conditioned every month. So even when I have in my protective style, it's not protective if it isn't doing my hair justice. So I would suggest that whatever your hair type is, you do not keep braids in for longer than two months max. The longer you keep the braids in, the more likely you are to have knots at the top when you take your braids out, which are really, really hard to detangle. You'll also cause stress on your new growth because your braids will be hanging on it. And, you know, nobody likes clinginess. So let's just take the braids out, okay? Just, just, just take the braids out. Month and a half, two months max, take the braids out. What shampoos do I use when I am wearing braids? So the shampoos I use, Miss, Miss Jessie's shampoo works really good for protective styles. Um, Talia Wajit's shampoo works really well for protective styles only <laughs> from what I've used. I have used a shampoo on my afro hair. It was disastrous. But on um, protective styles, it does work well. So I use that. And then, of course, I'll use Pantene. But, I mean, like I said, I don't really shampoo that much anyway. I pretty much just use the swap conditioner. So. Okay, and the last question is, how do you take the braids out without breaking your hair off? If you have been following these steps in this video, moisturizing your hair, keeping up with your treatments, um, you know, making sure that you wrap it up at night, then taking it out is a breeze. When I take mine out, I just cut it off where I know my hair isn't anywhere near that length. As I'm taking them out, I'll put a little bit of my smoothie on my hair, and then I'll just clip it out of the way. And then as I'm taking my braids out, I'll leave it like that. So. If you have any questions, um, join me on Lady Keys Natural Hair Page. Also, my book will be out very, very soon, Lady Keys 100 Tips for Natural Hair Success. And I do go over braids, twists, natural hair, all that good stuff. So look out for that. Be on my page for that. And um, if you are a fan on my natural hair page, I would encourage you to also join my new page, Lady Keys products and services and on there you can ask me all the questions you want about the launch of my product line and about my upcoming book so I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all next week